What's up everyone? Finally we released our ForSync app for Android system. You can now download it from the Google Play Store. So here I download it on my old Samsung S8 smartphone. I just download it and I would like to quickly show you and demonstrate how this app works and what it can do. So first launch, it gives us a pop-out uh, message asking, asking to uh, provide, to give access to the location services in order to use uh, Bluetooth in, in the smartphone. It's, this app doesn't use any of your location data at all. It's just required uh, to use Bluetooth on Android. This is how it works. So we click uh, OK and allow OK. Also, don't forget to turn on your focus. Okay, turn on your Bluetooth. So here is my Jedi Killer Saber. It's up now. Searches for available available uh, lightsabers. It's now shown, can take a few minutes to show show up uh, because maybe your uh, Saber soundboard went into sleep mode or something, so you can wake it. And it will show on the first connect screen. Now we click on it, it will ask you for a passcode mine doesn't ask because it's already was connected earlier and smartphone remembered the passcode so you type in the passcode and then you enter this screen core screen when you can select the soundboard that you are using so we select Profi TS, which is Profi board or Tinsy Saber, the old version is selected. Now we are in the menu of this board. So what we can do here? Here we see the real time battery indication with voltage, with battery voltage and uh, converts to percentage. So at 4.2, from 4.0 to 4.2, we have 100%. And one, it's uh, the voltage drops until uh, 2.6, it's 0%. And you need to charge. Then this little button is to reset the board to reboot, actually not reset, reboot, it just reboots the board, that's all it does. Then we have remote control screen, here we also see same battery indication, sound volume slider, preset slider and some remote control buttons, so you can turn it on. Where it doesn't light up because let's turn it off first because I set up this saber with uh, blade uh, blade detection so blade is disconnected board is in the disconnected blade mode so we can list all presets that we have on this profit board by clicking this button here we see only one preset which is calibrate 
you can see here font name name of the preset and track name that we uh, set to this preset the reason why here's only one preset because i set in my config file only one preset for this non-blade mode and when i connect the blade board detects the blade is connected and it enters another preset mode and now we when i hit the list preset button now we have all my presets that i have there for the blade i have 19 presets you can have less or more depends on your um, config setup and now the sound is different and we have a light in the blade so we can turn on off the blade do clashes, blasters, deep drag, lock up, force effects, and also reset, which is reboot, same as this reboot button. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. And we can play the assigned uh, music track to this preset and each preset has different music track which you can change by sliding this slider left or right like so it changes preset forward or backwards second sister and solo and we have different music track and you can change uh, volume in real time. From zero to maximum 3000. You can already see that battery indicator went from 100% uh, to uh, 60 and now it's 77. That's because obviously new pixel blade draws some power and in different colors it draws more or less current so battery voltage also drops. But when you turn it off, battery indicator returns to the almost full so what else um, you also can in on, on android app uh, and uh, app settings here we have only this uh, haptic feedback setting you can turn it off or on it just turns on or off the vibration on the smartphone when you tap any button or uh, slide or use a slider so it's up to you you wanted this feature or not and on the about screen you just uh, can see some about information and uh, our URL links to the to my uh, Facebook page and to my developer website. And we also have music tracks screen. This is like a, a music player in your lightsaber so by hitting the plus button you can 
add any music track that you have already have stored on your SD card in tracks folder. You need to copy all these tracks there first. Then you type the track name, any, any track name you want, just the name of the button. Let's say Vader. Vader theme. And here you need to type, it says he type the file name in this format, the name then dot buff. So you need to type the actual file name with the extension, which is um, march dot buff v w a f I believe. Then we click OK. And now we have a button here with the theme. And when we click it, this track plays. You can stop it. Play again. Stop it again. If uh, the file name didn't work, some reason or the you don't like the name that you typed or you want to change it you just slide this button left and you have two options delete this button or edit if you click edit you can edit it you click ok to apply if you want to delete it just hit delete and add a new button and you can add as many buttons as you want. For example, we have Pikachu song here. Pikachu song. And we type the file name, which is Pika song, I believe. Okay. No? Ah, yes, it works. Yeah, and that's basically all we have for the light up for Android um, for use with the profi board. Um, obviously, when we have more features uh, for profi for profi OS that can be controlled uh, by serial commands, I will add in the pro version because light version we offer for free use to get used to the app to get familiar with it and use just basic features because it take it took us a lot of time and money to make this app happen because we have to pay our developers so we can't work on the app continuously and offer just for free unfortunately so our pro app that we will have soon released on ios will have a bit more features like a serial terminal for profit boards example where you can debug the board see what happened there and also can see uh, blade ID resistance, which is also useful. On Android, we expect uh, Pro App to be released a bit later this year because we need to um, uh, to make it first. It takes a lot of time. We also, can control CFX board, but. It's not a CFX saber, so it can't connect to it and gives us a message, error message. So yeah, when you have more sabers, they will appear here on the screen and stuck in the list. And yeah, you can 
control each saber only one at once. You can't control two or more sabers at the same time. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.